You're watching Better.TV. Home, family, life. Well, parents take all types of precautions to keep their children safe and out of harm's way, from buckling them safely in the car to storing cleaning supplies out of reach. But one place often overlooked is the medicine cabinet. They're full of over-the-counter medicines that are easily accessible to teens using them to get high. Well, Susie Cohen is a licensed pharmacist with almost 20 years of experience, and she's also the author of The 24-Hour Pharmacist. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks Alvin. for coming. You've also been dubbed America's most trusted pharmacist by your readers as well. Yes. It's a dubious distinction to have there as well. <laughs> All right, we're talking about the dangers of some of the medications that you have in your cabinets. We know about toddlers getting into them, but teens are especially vulnerable because they can break the seal, obviously, right? right? So parents have right. to be very careful with what they have in the cabinets. How do you make sure that you safeguard your cabinet while taking care of yourself at the same time with your medications? Yeah, that's a great question because parents across America are suffering with all kinds of ailments. Right. They have trouble sleeping, mm -hmm. they're in pain, so they have these medications in their medicine cabinets. Exactly. And it's easy for the kids to raid. Are there so, any in particular, any type of, of uh, medications in particular that you should really watch out for? Well, the big one today are the cough syrups. Any kind of cough syrup that has a brand name that has TUS in it, T-U-S-S, -S, oh. TUS, that contains dextromethorphan, and kids are chugging that to get high. Oh. Okay, and you focus a lot on natural medicines, yes. right? Let, let's give us some alter, uh, some alternatives to the okay. things that you normally would have in the medicine cabinet as well. First and foremost, cough and cold syrups. You talked about that earlier. Mm -hmm. Here's two items here that you can put in there and do the same thing, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, a pharmacist's favorite for many years, the Coldies brand. It's homeopathic. This is the Organics. It's a USDA certified oh. organic, and it's dark chocolate mint. Okay. This can actually help. Uh, suppress a cough and mm -hmm. soothe, soothe your throat. Mm -hmm. Cold these lozenges, they taste good, they're non-drowsy, mm -hmm. they're not addictive, so oh. they're safe for kids. And speaking of being addictive, Afrin, a lot yes. of, some people are, are getting addicted to Afrin as well, but you've got a nice safe alternative here, Yes, right? the, okay. the nasal sprays that you squirt to unstuff your nose. Well, mm -hmm. saline is great, it's perfect for tots, it's the equivalent of squirting the humidifier in your nose because right. a lot of parents could run a humidifier. Mm -hmm. This is an option that you can carry in your purse. Perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. antibiotics. If you get sick, you've got a cold, everyone thinks, you know, hey, I gotta have the antibiotics in the cabinet, but those are dangerous to teens as well. Right? Sure, okay. uh, and to adults because to adults. they can strip the gut and cause diarrhea. Mm -hmm. These are great options to keep your immune system okay. strong. Coenzyme Q10, mm -hmm. you can buy this in any health food store or pharmacy. Okay. It rubs up the immune system, and I'd also like to mention that it's perfect for the heart and wow. for anyone taking cholesterol reducing drugs like the statin drugs and fish oil too mm -hmm. okay. fish oil um, nature made makes a great brand because this is enteric coated and they use wild caught fish, mm -hmm. not the oh, um, okay. farm-raised fish, <laughs> exactly. and it rubs up the immune system. Green tea is wonderful as well. It tastes good, mm -hmm. and it cleans up your arteries. It's a powerful antioxidant, Okay. and it might even protect against cancer. Of course, the cough right. and cold and flu, right. but cancer too. Now, the last but not least, sleep medications. A lot of people are having trouble going to sleep. You know, some of the teens are getting addicted to Xanax, though. Mm -hmm. These are two safe alternatives that you can have in the cabinet as well, right? Yes, okay. absolutely. 5-HTP is nature's antidepressant. It turns into serotonin and so it works much like prescribed medications. Oh, okay. And the melatonin, it lengthens the time that you sleep, so it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And it also happens to reduce inflammation, so adults could take it for all kinds of disorders, but primarily sleep. Okay, interesting. Yes. We appreciate it. I learned a lot here today. <laughs> you can also go to uh, Susie's website as well. It's dearpharmacist.com, right? Yes. You answer tons of, of viewer and people's emails, right? Yes, okay. I do. I'll answer okay. your questions for free. Just okay. log on to dearpharmacist.com, and you can also subscribe to my free syndicated column. Sounds good. Learn a lot more, too. Thank you very much. This has been Better.TV. We're always on with tips and ideas to make your life better. Send us your thoughts, ideas at Better.TV. Together, we'll make your home, family, and life better. Thanks for watching.